hello, I'm Andy, and I just wanted to um, talk about my uh, first circuit bending project that I've done. I've kind of been interested in it for a little while, collecting like bits and bobs, you know, knobs and all that kind of stuff. But um, I was reading the Wikipedia about the circuit bending, and it says it's kind of just something about trial and error, error and experimentation, and that kind of thing. So I had bought a bunch of um, toy ray guns, me and Sid actually, um, at the Capels Annex. They're really cheap and kind of been sitting around for a few years. So once it, I opened it up, it was just kind of not too much there to poke around at, but found something that can, we can attach a switch to that changes the default sound, which was cool. Um, kind of just poked around with my fingers and yeah. But um, the switch that we added is kind of like a little um, mercury switch. So you tilt to um, connect it or complete the circuit. So the um, default sounds can be played when it's uh, tilted forward. And those kind of just play on a different like loop. So every time you pull the trigger, it's one of those sounds. And then there's the alternate sounds when the um, little switch is engaged. So just tilt it and then a lot of them are So what you can do is um, tilt to disengage the switch while it's um, you're actively making a noise, which is cool because then And then after that, um, I kind of searched, because the thing is, is kind of loud. Um, I found on a subreddit how to add a little kind of like volume control. So on the back, there's a little, little knob, and that's in between the uh, battery and the uh, speaker. So... So you can make it quieter. Um, yeah. Well, it was fun doing this. I've also picked up some other stuff, um, actually from a local thrift store that I want to play around with. It's all like low voltage, battery powered stuff. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for watching.